Hey guys, how are we all doing? I hope everyone is all right. Welcome back to my channel, A Life in High Definition, and you are joining me in my new bathroom. Yes, I know. How exciting is this? No, I know it's not that exciting. <laughs> but yeah, this is my current background for this portion, at least, of my video. So the other day, I decided to open some boxes that I had that were from August and September. It's now October. I don't really feel like you really care to see me opening birch box from August and September or like a Clinique box that you can no longer get. Like if you do, let me know, I will do it, especially the Clinique one's quite interesting actually, but you can't buy it anymore. So mm, wasn't sure if it's worth showing. But anyway, I was opening all these boxes and in one of the boxes, I found these items. My hands aren't big enough to hold them all, but basically a bunch of Sanctuary Spa stuff. Love Me Beauty, who are now doing phase zero makeup, I am still subscribed to them. <laughs> and I am actually going to order some stuff for the first time in months, so that will be coming soon. So Love Me Beauty sent me these things because they want people to trial products stuff. So thank you so much to Love Me Beauty. One of them is this, from Sanctuary Spa, three day long lasting moisture shower burst, clouds of decadently nourishing cleansing foam enriched with gold of pleasure oil. Does anybody know what gold of pleasure oil is? Like seriously, gold of pleasure oil? I don't know. Um, it's got a long lasting fragrance and yeah, 200 mil. So this is like a, the full size thing. And it says, smother your body in a sumptuous burst of creamy cleansing for a truly decadent shower experience. The nourishing blend of gold of pleasure oil and sweet almond oil bursts into a luscious peaks of whipped foam that envelop the skin in a cloud of cleansing lather. Skin is left feeling clean, ultra soft and moisturized for up to three days after just one use. I mean, I could do a little smell test now, couldn't I? Ooh, it's quite... I don't know, quite a thick, moussey foam, if that makes sense. Oh, it does smell amazing. Mmm, that smells so good. I can feel that it does have like a creamy, like a creamy oil, if that makes sense. And this is really spreading. Like, I can see in the shower that's going to last me. Because it kind of turns into like, um, stops being foamy and turns into like a creamy base. That's nice. Well, let me just put my arms down now because that hurts. I feel like a lucky lady today. Obviously, I'm not going to show you it me in the shower because no one wants to see that. But yes, you are left with a residue that's not oily or sticky because sometimes I've used things that say they leave moisture, but they just leave you feeling waxy almost. Not pleasant. This just feels like you've used a really luxurious hand cream. Next thing I got was this, also orange can, but this is the Triple Cleansing Mousse, glow boosting, fluffy foaming cleanser with microfine exfoliating powder, resurfacing AHA, gentle cleansing actives for all skin types and it's 100% natural fragrance, also looks full size. Um, so it says, supercharge your cleansing routine with this fluffy triple cleansing mousse that powers through 10 skin smothering layers in seconds. Durst, Durst, I can't even read. <laughs> so it works on dirt, dust, pollution, everyday grime, oiliness, dead skin cells, blocked pores, blemishes, makeup, previous product residue. Deeply cleanses pores to transform skin's texture and reveal sparkling clean skin that has a radiant healthy glow. So I'm gonna try this in a moment. And the last item is this, which is the Sanctuary Spa 5 Minute Thermal Charcoal Detox Mask. It's a warming clay treatment with purifying charcoal, mattifying kaolin clay, calming myrrh oil, also for all skin types and also 100% natural fragrance. At Sanctuary Spa, our mission is to make you look and feel wonderful. We create every product with gorgeously addictive textures, effective natural ingredients, pure essential oils to make delivering visible skincare results that little bit more indulgent. Find your skincare sanctuary. It's a self-heating clay mask that draws out impurities, daily grime and pollution, whilst eliminating excess oils from deep within pores without drying. Leave skin feeling detoxified, cleansed and silky soft. Um, and you put this after you've cleansed. So I'm gonna try that tonight after I've used, done my makeup and everything. I thought that I would give the cleanser a go first just to see what it's like on bare skin and then test it again later to see what it's like on makeup. Does it really get the makeup off as well as it should? So yes, are you joining me on this testing video of delight? <laughs> 
before showing you the results and whether I like them. I'd love it if you could just hit that notification bell because you never want to miss an upload, do you? Of course, when you're done, you can share this video. Give me a thumbs up, let me know you enjoy it. And most of all, subscribe. Just sign in, it only takes a minute or so. Let's get into the video. Shake vigorously until you can hear the mixing ball to activate the cleansing power. Dispense into palm and massage onto damp, damp skin. Damp skin? Oh, goodness, a bit tiring, isn't it? I wonder if I should just do half a face. Oh, I've got, still got some soap on my hand. Ah! Oops. Did you want to see me break my bathroom? Come a bit like that. Oh, you can feel a bit of grittiness, like very, very faintly. It does feel like the exfoliation would be working. Right, you need to shake it immediately before dispensing it. Not like a minute before like I was doing. But a little bit goes a long way. No, it pretty much fades away. I hate getting my face wet. Right, how are we looking? Ooh, ooh, feels nice. It does feel a bit smoother. I like that. And it does smell delicious. It feels like I've had just like a little mask on or something. Kind of like when I use this Lucura cleansing mud foam cleanser or something like that that's got a little exfoliation in but not too strong, you know? Something that's gentle enough that you can use it twice a day but still exfoliates and keeps your skin fresh. Right, on with the day. So it's evening time and I am back to show you how my face can get washed with this lovely product. Does it take makeup off? I'm gonna show you. So of course you have to start with a wet face again. Oh, it's been a long last day, but a good day, I think. Just got finished recording something amazing. In fact, you will have seen it by the time this goes out. So I can tell you, I've just got finished unboxing the Pip Advent Calendar and I'm really impressed, really impressed. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Hopefully everyone feels about it saying, well, I do. Concealer, lipstick, this Maybelline stuff though. It does struggle to take that off, but we can do eyes. Still makes me nervous, but I'm trying to be better about putting things on my eyes. Oh, there's still a bit of product left. Eyelash glue. Eyelash glue never wants to come out, does it? Last time I did this, I did go back over my eyes to get every little bit off. I only took one more little wash, but I'm not going to do that today. Only because I have to take this lipstick off with something else. It does not get this lipstick off. It gets a regular lipstick off, but it will not take this hardcore stuff off. Don't ask me why. Just got a regular pad of micellar water and you'll see, well you should see, if I clean my face properly. Oh, but I didn't do under my chin. I always forget to do under my chin, don't I? I can't do a proper test because I always forget to clean under my chin. And then I wipe under there and then I go, oh yeah, there's still some there. But the pad is pretty clean. And I know I'm quite a stickler for like what makes it clean, but having actually done this before, I know that it can get all my makeup off if I've washed my face properly. Um, the first time I did it, it got everything off, bar the tiniest, tiniest dot of mascara. Most of the time I'm an advocate for double cleansing anyway, because I don't usually find that anything gets everything off first time. For some reason, a pad of micellar water works on this lipstick, and nothing else will. It's weird, isn't it? Right, clean face. So now I can show you the last product, which I freaking love, and it's this which is the Sanctuary 5 Minute Thermal Charcoal Detox Mask. Warming clay treatment with purifying charcoal, mattifying kaolin clay, calming myrrh oil for all skin types. Um, and it's 100% natural fragrance. Does it smell? I think it must smell. Not really, actually. It draws out impurities, daily grime pollution, whilst eliminating excess oils from deep within pores without drying. Leave skin feeling detoxified, cleansed and silky soft. You have to do this on a wet face. The thing I like about this is the warming effect. So you squeeze it out and it doesn't feel warm here. But as soon as you rub it on your face, it feels warm. It's like I'm rubbing a, a warm hot water bottle and then it feels warm on my fingers as well. Oh, it feels so nice. It smells like porridge, feels like plasticine. Oh, it feels so good and I can feel it in between my fingers. And all it makes me want to do it's just put more and more and more on my face because it's just so warm. The only downside about this is either your skin gets used to it or the heat goes away after about 15 seconds. So you just get excited about the heat and then it goes away. But the idea is that you um, 
massage it in. So where it's there, you think, oh, the heat's dying. If you start to rub, it will come back a bit. Like, it won't be there forever, but it will come back to a degree until it runs out again. I tried putting this on with a spatula, but it didn't work. Oh, it's so nice. I don't know if you've ever tried a space mask and that kind of heated thing or a heat pad or whatever, you'll know the kind of feeling. That is good. How much more am I allowed to put on? This is a thin layer. Oh, but it feels so nice. Oh, I love it. My only desire is that it would stay warm for the whole five minutes, because that would be perfect. That is it on, and I will be back in five minutes. There we go, my five minutes is up, and my face mask looks like this. It doesn't really get dry, it sort of dries a bit, but it's still sticky. It's really easy to wipe off, and it's one of the nicest ones, because it's not like a clay mask, so you can just get your cloth a little bit damp and literally just wipe it off your face. If only these muslin cloths stayed white <laughs> they should make black ones or something so that when you use them with face masks they don't turn this nasty gray color or i should just buy new ones i don't know i would say this mask is more for giving your skin a little bit of a pep and more for a treat rather than to have an amazing effect like i do think it makes my skin look a bit better but it doesn't make my skin um, less bumpy or spotty, if that makes sense. Like, I know I've got a little spot coming up there. And I know that this face mask isn't the one to make that spot disappear. My face is done and I know I said it doesn't feel softer. Actually, it does feel softer. It does almost leave like a layer of moisture on your face. So it does feel soft to touch and it does feel a bit smoother. And I always feel like it just feels a little bit better and brighter i mean i'm really exhausted so just don't look at my eyes but um i think it does something i wouldn't say it's the ultimate mask for closing pores and things like that but your skin feels clean I mean, what does it promise again detoxifies cleansed and silky soft definitely leaves your skin feeling silky soft you definitely feel clean and yeah i would say detoxified as well and this costs 10 pounds for this full size 75 mil and is good i think especially if you had more sensitive skin as well and you find that the clay charcoal masks are too drying and aggravate you then something like this gives you a chance to try charcoal but without getting so dried out and um your skin feeling maybe not as good or not tingly because this is just warm it doesn't tingle it doesn't make you feel like oh is it burning my face no it's just a warm face mask so this is really nice and I like it. And I like all of these Sanctuary Spa products and I'd really like to try some more. Sanctuary Spa, if you're listening, send them my way. So that is the end of my review. I like all of them. I think they're all good value for money. If you see them, you might want to go and give some a try. Thank you so much for watching this review. I hope it was helpful. And until you see me next time, I hope that you live every moment well, your skin stays great and you take care of yourselves. Bye guys.